Yeah. Uh, at the end of all this, and you have 12 jurors sitting there, how many of the jurors have to agree together before there's a, a decision? I believe it's unanimous. So all we need is one juror. All we need is one seed of doubt. Uh, to be well, it can go the reverse, too. You can have 11 in your favor and one who sticks, sticks with the government. Um, no, it's still it's still a hung jury or it's still it's a hung jury. Yeah, 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 right. It still have a retrial. <coughs> but I'm not sure. Well, I, I, well, actually, you you, you, got, you got to be going for acquittal here, right? <laughs> I don't I don't project. I want I, I I want Vernon and his family to just be done with it. Yeah, I, I'm, I have a pretty strong feeling of faith. Got a hung jury. That would be the end of it. Yeah. yeah. They, they don't, guilt, I don't think they would want to go through in this. In terms again. of guilt, all we need is one juror. So it is, and I think that a lot of seeds have already been sown to raise doubt, and we'll see as the trial progresses, since we are not even done with one witness at this point. The jury is free to go its own way, right? They can say, he's guilty, but this is ridiculous. I mean, can't they take that kind of a position and then say, so I'm saying not guilty? Now, he, he, they can go any number of ways, as I understand. They could they convict him on one count and acquit him on three counts. Or, you know, so there's, you, you, there are almost endless mathematical, you know, possibilities here. Uh, or they could get hung up on one count and convict him on one and, and uh, acquit him on two. Um, so it's, it's a, there's a, a whole lot of possibilities. Yeah. At this point, I mean, it's projecting what is going to happen, but either way, I, I know that this community or what we're doing here as a community together, it doesn't end with what happens this week. Everything that we want to see change and make change for, that will happen through, honestly, what I call the endurance test. Well, the education process. Yeah, education process, but also the endurance test. Mm. We really have to be there for each other and stick together as a community. So it's great to see so many people come out and, and Vernon has so many wonderful supporters that are right here walking this path with him. So thank you so much for coming out, all of you. At this point, I think this is probably a good point for us to uh, conclude and, and I think we, have a, we have a couple more uh, speakers here and uh, I think they would. Yeah, thank started. you. We'll be back tomorrow. much Ajna and David. Can you all hear me? Yep. Um, thanks again for being here you guys and uh, let's hope that we get more of us out tomorrow and the rest of the week in support of Vernon. It was a great turnout today and we're super excited about what the overview that Ajna and David just gave us and how well things went today. I'd like to introduce our first two speakers of the week. We have with us this evening Mark McAfee from Organic Pastures Dairy in California and Mark is owner of the biggest raw milk dairy in the country. He's a wonderful raw milk activist and educator. And one of the superheroes of this whole movement, and a super great guy. 